For decades, the mesmerizing cave art of the Paleolithic era has captivated our imaginations. These vibrant depictions of animals, etched and painted onto the walls of caves across Europe, offer a tantalizing glimpse into the minds of our Ice Age ancestors. But alongside the majestic aurochs, horses and deer, lie a series of enigmatic markings, dots, lines and symbols that have long baffled researchers. What did they mean? Were they merely decorative, or did they hold a deeper, more profound significance? A recent groundbreaking study, spearheaded by an unlikely hero, a furniture conservator named Ben Bacon, has cracked the code, revealing a sophisticated system of proto-writing that predates any other known writing system by at least 20,000 years. This discovery is rewriting our understanding of early human cognition and pushing back the timeline of symbolic communication. It's easy to fall into the trap of viewing our Ice Age ancestors as primitive hunter-gatherers, solely focused on survival. However, the archaeological record paints a far richer and more nuanced picture. These were not merely cavemen eking out a precarious existence. Evidence shows that they built complex structures, such as the mammoth bone houses found in Eastern Europe, showcasing remarkable engineering skills. They were master artisans, as evidenced by the exquisite detail of their stone tool technology, a field meticulously documented by archaeologists like Francois Bord in his influential work, A Tale of Two Caves. The delicately carved Venus figurines, found across Eurasia, hint at a developed aesthetic sense and perhaps even a symbolic representation of fertility or the female form. Furthermore, their elaborate burial practices, meticulously studied by researchers like Margaret Conkey, suggest a complex belief system and a spiritual life that extended beyond the mundane. As Conkey notes in her work on Upper Paleolithic Symbolism, these rituals indicate a society capable of abstract thought and symbolic representation. The Ice Age people inhabited a world imbued with meaning, a world where rituals and beliefs played a significant role. As Pliny the Elder observed centuries later in his Natural History, Book 18, Humans have long sought to understand and interpret the natural world. The moon fills the earth with fertilizing moisture and stimulates the generative power in all animals. This awareness of natural cycles likely played a crucial role in Ice Age life, influencing their rituals and survival strategies. The cave paintings themselves are a testament to their artistic prowess. Sites like Lascaux, Altamira, and Chauvet Pont d'Arc are veritable galleries of prehistoric art showcasing a mastery of form, color, and perspective. But within these masterpieces lie the cryptic markings that have puzzled researchers for so long. Ben Bacon, an amateur archaeologist driven by an insatiable curiosity, believed these markings were more than just random doodles. He suspected they held a specific meaning, a key to unlocking the thoughts and knowledge of our Ice Age ancestors. Immersing himself in the available research, Bacon spent countless hours studying images of cave art, meticulously recording every instance of these markings. Bacon's meticulous work led him to a groundbreaking hypothesis. The markings were related to animal life cycles. He reached out to academics, and his theory resonated with Professor Paul Pettit and Professor Robert Kentridge from Durham University, and Professor Tony Freeth from University College London. They, along with two independent researchers, collaborated with Bacon pooling their expertise to test his hypothesis. Their findings, published in the Cambridge Archaeological Journal, are nothing short of revolutionary. The markings, they argue, represent a lunar calendar, a system for tracking the reproductive cycles of various animal species. By comparing the number of marks associated with each animal to the known birth cycles of their modern-day counterparts, the team deduced that the marks corresponded to lunar months. The Y symbol, they posit, signified giving birth. This system of proto-writing is remarkably sophisticated. It demonstrates that Ice Age hunter-gatherers were not merely passive observers of their environment. They were actively recording information, using a symbolic system to track crucial events in the natural world. As Professor Pettit explains, the results show that Ice Age hunter-gatherers were the first to use a systematic calendar and marks to record information about major ecological events within that calendar. This discovery builds upon the work of researchers like Genevieve von Petzinger, who has painstakingly documented the recurring symbols found in Paleolithic art across Europe. Her research has identified at least 32 distinct symbols, 
suggesting a shared system of symbolic communication that spanned vast distances and long periods. While the exact meaning of all these symbols remains to be deciphered, von Petzinger's work, combined with Bacon's findings, paints a picture of a far more complex and interconnected Ice Age world than previously imagined. The exploration of Ice Age symbolism doesn't stop with the markings themselves. Some researchers, including the author of the Old European Culture blog, propose that the very arrangement of animals within the cave art encodes knowledge. They argue that the groupings of animals and their relationships to one another tell stories about the seasons, celestial events and other natural phenomena. While this remains a more speculative area of research, it presents compelling evidence that this form of symbolic communication may have persisted for millennia, from the Paleolithic to the Neolithic and beyond. It suggests a deep and enduring connection between humans and the natural world, a connection expressed through art, ritual, and a sophisticated understanding of the cycles of life. As Tacitus wrote in his Germania, early societies were often governed more by their own beliefs than by laws. These beliefs, deeply intertwined with the natural world, are now slowly being revealed through the painstaking work of researchers like Ben Bacon. The discovery of the Ice Age lunar calendar is a watershed moment in our understanding of early human history. It demonstrates that the roots of writing, of scientific observation, and of complex symbolic thought stretch far deeper into the past than we ever imagined. Ben Bacon's work, a testament to the power of curiosity and collaboration, has opened a new chapter in the human story, revealing the remarkable cognitive abilities of our Ice Age ancestors. The Ice Age, once viewed as a period of primitive struggle, is now emerging as a time of intellectual awakening, a time when the seeds of human civilization were sown. As we continue to explore the mysteries of the past, we are not only uncovering the secrets of our ancestors, but also gaining a deeper understanding of ourselves. And what first drew me into it was uh, Denisova Cave mm -hmm. uh, in Siberia. I think everybody's heard of the Neanderthals, and these days I think everybody's heard of the Denisovans as well. Uh, for a long time it was held that the Neanderthals were stupid, primitive subhumans. Turns out that that's not true at all. The latest scientific on, uh, evidence on the Neanderthals is that they were symbolic creatures, that they did do art, that they were in every sense human, and they were in every sense human because anatomically modern humans interbred with Neanderthals. You can't interbreed with another species. Then in Russia, in Denisova Cave, they find a single pinky bone from a little finger. And what they discover is, this isn't a Neanderthal. This isn't an anatomically modern human being. This is another human species uh, who they named the Denisovans. They think they're more closely related to Neanderthals than they are to anatomically modern humans. High above a Siberian valley, deep in the Altai Mountains, there lies a hidden enigma, Denisova Cave, a place that changed our view of human evolution forever. What secrets lie within this ancient chamber? How did a discovery here challenge everything we thought we knew? Discovered in 1977 by Russian scientists, Denisova Cave seemed like just another archaeological site in a region full of history. But this cave would soon become one of the most significant finds in anthropology. Initial digs revealed tools, animal bones, and remnants of ancient fires. Then, in 2008, a tiny pinky bone fragment was found, buried in the darkness of the cave for over 40,000 years. That single bone would change the world. At first, it seemed like a remnant of ancient human life, perhaps a Neanderthal. But the DNA revealed a mystery. It didn't match modern humans or Neanderthals, it pointed to something new, an unknown lineage that had slipped through time. They called them the Denisovans. How many other lost branches of humanity remain undiscovered? What did these beings know that we do not? It's like finding a whole new chapter in the book of human history, remarked Dr. Svantepeebo, a pioneer in ancient DNA research. The Denisovan discovery sent shockwaves through science, not only because they existed, but because of their mysterious traits. 
Denisova Cave extends over 60 meters into the mountain. Its shadowy chambers held more than bones. They found tools and ornaments, bracelets of polished greenstone and pendants of mammoth ivory. Artifacts too advanced for their time. Who crafted these objects? Did they reveal a culture as complex as early humans? Or did they suggest something even stranger? Interaction between Denisovans and others? It suggests a level of complexity in these societies we hadn't expected, said one researcher. Were the Denisovans artists? Did they chart the stars or communicate with distant human groups? Denisova Cave is a time capsule, preserving clues about ancient climates, creatures, and lives. But for every answer, more mysteries arise. Denisovan DNA has been found in populations thousands of miles away in Southeast Asia and Australia. How did they spread so far? Were they explorers, crossing oceans or navigating mountain passes long before recorded history? Unlike the robust Neanderthals and artistic Homo sapiens, the Denisovans appear to blend traits from both. Their DNA in Melanesians and Aboriginal Australians suggests ancient intermingling. Were they a hidden lineage, or did they play a key role in shaping humanity? The cave's secrets blur the line between myth and reality. Could ancient Siberian folklore of giants be memories of Denisovans? Or might they link to myths of lost civilizations, stories of advanced peoples who vanished without a trace? Some believe the true extent of the Denisovans' knowledge has been hidden. What could be so dangerous about their story? Did these ancient humans have knowledge beyond what we credit them for? an understanding of the stars, or travel skills rivaling the Mesopotamians. Since the Pinky Bones discovery, archaeologists have found more Denisovan remains, teeth, skull fragments, and tools. One molar, massive and robust, suggested a species physically distinct from Neanderthals and humans. Its size resembled earlier human ancestors, yet it lay beside advanced artifacts. How could primitive features coexist with complex behavior? It is as if the Denisovans were a bridge between ancient hominids and modern humans. Some scientists believe they had larger brains or unique spatial awareness, giving them a deeper understanding of their world. Others suggest they perceived reality differently in ways beyond our comprehension. Consider the Denisovan bracelet, delicately carved with a hole drilled so precisely that it suggests a type of drill beyond their time. Could this be forgotten technology or even contact with other realms, as some theorists suggest? Skeptics dismiss these ideas, but the mysteries of Denisova continue to fuel debate. The Altai Mountains are filled with hidden histories. Nearby caves hold traces of Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens, but none rival the depth of Denisova's findings. It's as if this cave was a crossroads, where ancient cultures converged shared knowledge, and then vanished. Comparing Denisova to the famous Lascaux Caves in France reveals a striking contrast. In Lascaux, paintings depict a world of animals and beliefs, early human expression. Denisova's secrets are buried in genetic codes and tools. Lascaux is a window into the mind. Denisova challenges the boundaries of evolution. And the question persists. What else remains in the darkness of Denisova Cave? Each new discovery makes the Denisovan story more intricate. Are we uncovering a forgotten people or understanding a hidden part of ourselves? What truths remain in the shadows? What revelations about our past might be waiting? The discoveries here reach far beyond a cave in Siberia. They touch on fundamental questions of who we are and where we come from. Imagine a world where Denisovans, Neanderthals, and early Homo sapiens coexisted, crossing icy rivers and forests. A world where different branches of humanity exchanged ideas, skills, and stories. Could the Denisovans have been among the first explorers of Asia? Did their knowledge shape later cultures? Some scientists propose Denisovans played a role in early human migrations, their genetic footprint in Southeast Asia and Oceania suggests a wide range. The mysteries go beyond the cave walls. 
Denisovan DNA still lingers in some populations, influencing traits like immune responses and high-altitude adaptation. In Tibet, Denisovan genes help people thrive in thin air, an ancient gift from a species long gone. Understanding them helps us understand ourselves. As new excavations continue, the story of Denisova Cave unfolds. The caves of Siberia hold secrets that could change how we see ourselves, secrets that might challenge everything we believe about human history. What lies buried, waiting for discovery? Perhaps the most important clues still lie beneath the surface, in the silence of time. The answers may lie in Denisova Cave, waiting to challenge everything we think we know about humankind. With each new clue, the mystery only deepens.